7 Surprising Facts About South Korea That Most People From Other Countries Don't Know 1. Korea's Sauna Sleepovers, A Unique and Affordable Experience Korean public baths and saunas are known as Jimjilbang. Tourists visiting for a short time stay in these saunas, while locals come to rejuvenate after work or a party. At the entrance, people wear yangmiori, or sheep's head, which are towels you put on your head. Inside, there are couches and playrooms for kids, making it a relaxing and family-friendly place. 2. Korean Relationship Culture, the No Opposite Sex Friends Rule In South Korea, many people believe that men and women can't be friends. When a guy and a girl start a relationship, they often stop seeing their friends of the opposite sex. Unlike in many other places where friendships can turn into romantic relationships, in Korea, opposite sex childhood friendships tend to fade as people grow older and marry. They worry that their friends might develop romantic feelings. In Korea, it's a common belief that men and women can't be friends if they are meant to be together. 3. Pepero Day, Korea's unique love celebration on November 11th. The holiday is Pepero Day, named after sweet breadsticks with different icings, and it's celebrated on November 11th. People give these gifts not just to loved ones, but also to friends and relatives. The true origins of Pepero Day are still uncertain. Some say it began as a trend among schoolgirls in the 80s, while others believe the holiday was created by Latte, the company that makes these sticks. 4. Why Koreans Adore Hand Warmers In Korea, when you visit a hairdresser, beauty salon, or other places, you might be offered a hand warmer, even if the building is heated. These are hot packs that stay warm for hours and are very popular. They come in various sizes and warmth durations. Some are small enough for pockets or shoes, while larger ones last longer. Be cautious as they can get very hot. To use them, open the package, shake them a bit, and then put them in your pockets. 5. Korean Schools and Parent Patrols In Korea, parents are actively involved in school life. Each day, Two parents visit schools to observe the educational process and ensure everything is going well. They also taste the school food to check their children's meals. These parent volunteers wear uniforms, follow a schedule, and have a designated rest area during their break. 6. Korean Parents and Their Unwavering Support for Their Children in Korean families, it's common for fathers to work while mothers focus on raising their children. They get deeply involved in this role, often to the extent of losing their own lives and identities. It doesn't matter what their child does, the mother is expected to be actively involved in everything. A blogger who has lived in Korea shared this story, My daughter used to go to the mountains alone. And now I have to go with her everywhere. People even questioned if the blogger's daughter was adopted because Koreans believe a real mother wouldn't let her child go out alone. As a result, the blogger had to accompany her daughter everywhere, even to her show shootings. 7. Korean Sleep Habits – No Need for Darkness and Silence the practice of teaching children to fall asleep in light and noisy rooms to strengthen their nervous systems is an interesting cultural approach in Korea. Whether or not such a practice should be adopted in other countries depends on various factors, including cultural norms, parenting philosophies, and the overall well-being of children. Each country may have its own unique practices and values, so it's essential to consider what works best in a specific cultural and social context. It's not a matter of which is better, but rather what aligns with the values and needs of a particular society. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Thank you.